Thank you, Dr. Ashman, for introducing me and dear guests. We heard some wonderful presentations this morning, synopsis of how life is dependent upon electromagnetism threw you just right into the middle, although it seems to be a dry stuff to begin with. And that was done by Dr. Oshman, as you know, and um, um, Dr. Sinatra is remarkable as a cardiologist that he has reached the uh, synchronous vibrating mode of the heart. And this is, you know, we talk about synchrony as opposed to entropy. Entropy is the development into chaos that we are all subjected with, and you will, in a few minutes, learn more about that. And Wayne Miller, he urges us to think e economically and work effectively, and that's exactly what, what I have been um, exposed to, because I felt myself at the frontier, you know, when you are, as a therapist, when you are a therapist and standing in front of the patient, you are at the frontier. And I think that's why you're all here today. Um, we kind of came a long way, um, all of you. And it is, there are a lot of good suggestions and, and, and good wishes and good ideas, but you see, and there's also arbitrarily and empirical arbitrary and empirical knowledge in complementary medicine, which has helped many people. You could put a needle here into the colon 4 acupuncture point when you have a sinus problem, and it may help a little bit. But you'll be surprised how little it helps for other people. And what I was looking for over years was a standardized method in complementary medicine, which is based on principles. And our principles that um, we uh, have been working on, our principles have been the chemical paradigm, as you know, and everybody knows how little or how far or not far we will get, and we still don't know what kind of disease the person has. We label the disease with a name and we, we des describe according to the name. We, we label something that we actually don't know what's going on. But the essence of what we are talking about here today and what you will again, what you will already sense and, and know yourself, is the, the wave structure. You see, when it comes down to the very point of uh, life, aging and photons, life and aging and healing and disease, it is our wave structure. And the practical aspects here is, is of course, practical aspects behind a successful anti-aging clinic. You want to be successful. You are all, all dedicated to, to work uh, at, at patients, and, but you also have to charge the patients in order to run your um, enterprise and your, your clinic. And if you're not successful, it, it won't work. And we have tools available that I want to share with you that really are successful. The EM field, we have heard a lot of EM field, electromagnetic fields, danger and so forth, is not the EM field. So the EM field of very low frequencies, extreme low frequencies from 0 0.1 to maybe 32,000 hertz is, is the range of healing. As a matter of fact, Siskin and Walker have done tremendous research, as I pointed up in earlier lectures, that have shown that nerve healing takes place at 2 hertz, for instance, and cardiovascular healing may be at 4 hertz or 12 hertz. I'd, I don't have that, no, don't know that by memory. And Robert Becker, he uh, picked that up. So the repair field, we talk about the repair field, how we could actually boost the repair field. The repair field is working at low frequencies. And the repair field, again, is controlled by our 
mainly the alpha rhythm of our brain wave pattern, which has about 7.6 or 8 hertz. Now, when you experience first time how the pain of an osteoporotic patient ceases after a few treatments with pulsating specific electromagnetic fields, and you also find yourself in a quite powerful position to approach other health disorders, you will definitely ask for an explanation. You see, there is no doubt that we could approach all kinds of diseases successfully, tinnitus or glaucoma or fibromyalgia, colitis, uh, anxiety disorders. There are numerous case studies in all kinds of diseases. Once you are capable to detect and to explore the structure of the problem, you could, you could actually approach anything and bring order into the system. And the same thing uh, Dr. Sinatra just uh, pointed out, the synchronous vibrating mode. There's no doubt anymore that specific electromagnetic fields and their frequencies have enormous healing power as seen in successful treatment of osteoporosis and numerous other health disorders. And therapists around the world are curious about what is behind all this. And this presentation will show that today modern medicine has discovered an effective use of the power of electrons and their photons. Because you see, you ask yourself what is actually working. When, when the patient is sitting in front of a machine, you, they don't feel anything, they don't see anything, and they ask you and you say, well, I don't really know how it works, but it, it seems to work. You know, this, this is not the uh, way you are competent and that's not how you're professional. It's actually all electrons. When you uh, pr prescribe vitamin C, and uh, they have healed um, polio, uh, severe polio cases, uh, acute polio cases with 100 grams of vitamin C infusions. Uh, vitamin C is an electron donator, so it's somewhat, um, as you know, an antioxidant. It uh, works on that basis, and uh, uh, Denham Harmon, the father of um, the anti-aging or the antioxidant theory, is still uh, unsurpassed in, in anti-aging and it's all about electrons. It's uh, free radicals and uh, how to neutralize free radicals, but you will learn that the, fo that the electrons actually aren't the real power. The electrons give birth to a photon, and the photons do the job. The repair field of ailing or aging tissues can be dramatically improved by nuclear magnetic resonance. Manipulation, manipulation of the hydrogen atoms and their electrons is the key for success. You see, hydrogen atoms have been neglected many, many hundreds and thousands of, of years. They didn't know that we are magnetic. And uh, before 1970, when people said that uh, we are magnetic and we should use the magnetism of ourselves to take images from it. They have been declared idiots. And since 1970, we have the MRI. We are using just that, the hydrogen magnetism, the magnetic moment of our hydrogen atoms. Our tissue is mostly hydrogen water. There are also other elements, but the, the, the uh, uh, abundant importance is hydrogen. And Hydrogen is a little magnet. It has, a, it has only one electron, and it has a charge. That's, it has a charge, it's only one electron, and it has a spin. 